Well, hello again. I'm Tony Bazzara, and I'm here today with my co-pilot, Marcus O'Dean, editor of Sporting Shooter magazine. And Marcus, you're going to show us how to correctly mount a rifle scope. Yes, Tony. Um, thanks. Uh, it's essential when you mount a rifle scope, if you want to maintain zero and hit that trophy in the field, that you do it correctly. We're just going to take you through a few simple steps today uh, to make sure that when you do it, that you will have that experience. All right, mate, we'll take it away. Thanks, Tom. Step one, attach your mount bases with the appropriate Torx, hex spanner or flathead screwdriver after you place a drop of nail polish or Loctite on the threads of the degreased mounting screws. Step two, now we need to attach the rings to the base. If they are the normally horizontally split rings, like this weaver style set here, simply screw the rings gently onto the base and do a quick visual check that they are roughly aligned with the line of the bore. Step 3. At this point, take your rifle scope, in this case a Bushnell Elite 3 to 9 by 40 and in succession wind the windage turret all the way clockwise, then all the way anti-clockwise, taking note of how many turns it takes from stop to stop. Then, wind the wind turrets halfway back, as well as the elevation, so the scope's reticle is roughly centred in its adjustment. Step 4. Next, we lay the scope in the bottom rings. Attach the top rings and insert the screws, and use an equal number of turns for each screw. Screw down to the point where you can rotate the scope in the rings with a little resistance. Step 5. It's now time to set the scope at the correct eye relief for the rifle and shooter. Most scopes designed for centrefires nowadays aim for an eye relief of around 3 to 4 inches, so shooters do not get hit by the scope's ocular upon recoil. Set the scope at a mid power, say 6 times on a 3 to 9, and shoulder the rifle in the standing position. Move the scope forward and back until you see the best field of view and thinnest black border around the image. This is the correct eye relief. Step 6. Now you have the correct eye relief, you need to ensure the reticle's vertical cross wire is not canted to left or right. On a level surface, cradle the rifle in slots cut in a box or in a cleaning cradle, like this one. Then find a reliable vertical straight surface, for example a wall on a building or similar. Then rotate your scope body until the vertical cross wire lines up with that wall edge. Another way to roughly do this is to place a small level bubble on top of the turret cap and rotate the scope until it is level. Step 7. At this point, all that remains is to tighten the ring screws alternately from front to back and side to side, just as you would when tightening a vehicle's wheel nuts. Then give them all a final cinch up and your scope is properly mounted. Well, good day again. Marcus O'Dean here from Sporting Shooter Magazine. We've shown you already how to uh, securely mount a rifle scope. At that point, we've got to go onto the field and uh, zero the rifle scope effectively. One easy, quick, an economical method of doing this is with a Bushnell laser bore sighting device. We're going to show you how to do it. Step 1. Remove the bolt from your rifle and ensure it's unloaded, particularly for lever or pump action. Then place the rifle in a firm level cradle pointing at a zeroing target at about 25 metres. Step 2. Having selected the correct spud for the calibre of rifle, gently insert the bore sighter into the muzzle of the rifle until the body of the bore sighter contacts the muzzle crown. Then rotate the bore sighter body until the spud inside the barrel expands and it sits firmly in the barrel. Step 3. Switch on the laser beam. Now align the scope's crosshairs on the target, noting the point at which the laser beam lies on the target. Then move your scope's adjustment turrets until the beam points to a place roughly the distance of the scope's centre to bore line below where your crosshairs point. This should be somewhere between 1 and 3 quarter to 3 inches depending on the size of the scope and mounts. Now you're ready to take your rifle out and commence zeroing at 100 yards.